Pokemon Fire Red! Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen. It's that time of year again. Time for almost a new Pokemon game to be coming out. And to uh, get myself ready, I will be playing Pokemon Fire Red version. But, I'm not going to just be playing any regular old Pokemon Fire Red version. No, sir! I'm going to be doing a Nuzlocke challenge for the first time. And for any of you that don't know, in my version of a Nuzlocke challenge at least, there are going to be three rules. Number one, if a Pokemon faints, it's out of there. Bye, guy. And uh, we're going to miss you, but we're going to put it in a graveyard instead of just letting them go. That way we can look back at all of our fallen friends. There was some hair in my eye. Did you like that? I like nonchalantly like pulled. And then, oh, it's restarted itself. But anyway, yes, Game Freak, thank you. Anyway, so rule number one, if a Pokemon faints, you're going right in the graveyard, my friend. This hair on my tongue, though. Anyway, so, rule number two. You have to catch the first Pokemon on each route. I forgot for a second there what the number two rule, number two rule was. You have to catch the first Pokemon you encounter of each route. And then after that, you can't capture anymore. So if in route one, if I run into a Pidgey, I have to capture him. And then number three, you gotta nickname those bad boys. That way you have an emotional connection. And when they die and you never get to see them again, it's much more difficult for you. So let's get started with Professor Oak. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? Can you not tell by looking at me, Professor? I'm a boy. Let's begin with your name. What is it? My name is Zaltrex. Thank you, Professor! Right, so your name is Zaltrax. Yes. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Um, what was his name now? You don't know your own grandson's name. Well, little do you know, your grandson is actually an evil alternate version of myself from Earth 3. He will be... Zar... Zal... Zarl, Zarltlaz, Zarltlaz, that's Zaltrax backwards, pretty dang clever, uh, was it Zarl, Zartlaz? yes, that's right, I remember now, his name is Zartlaz, 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 that's what it'll be, Zartlaz, Zaltrax, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. All right. Hey, Mom. Don't mind me. I'm just going to get a Pokemon. And then straight off into the jungle. Oh, no. Hey, wait. Don't go out. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Come with me. All right, buddy. Hope you're not leading me astray. Zaltlaz Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Zaltlaz? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Zaltrax. There are three Pokemon here. Haha, <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose! Hey, Graham, Snow Fair, what about me? Be patient, Zaltlaz. You can have one too. Hmm. 
Let's see, I wonder which one I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick Charmander. Ah, Charmander is your choice. You should raise it patiently. So, Zaltrax, you're claiming the fire Pokemon Charmander? Yes. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. Zaltrax received the com Char the commander. I want to give a nickname, yes. No! I shall nickname my new Charmander. Let's name him... Zuko. Like the Fire Lord of the same name. Zuko. I'll take this one then. Zarkla has received the Squirtle from Professor Oak. Alright, thanks you maniac. Wait, Zaltrax. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on! Oh no. My first ever Pokemon battle. Oh yeah, you got yourself a Squirtle, huh? Oak, you don't have to tell me anything. I know how to battle. Skip, skip, skip. Wah, 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 wah. All right, you scratch. It's super effective. No, it's not. Anybody ever play Pokemon Stadium? When the guy was like, it's super effective. Zuko, you scratch! Bo Squirtle once again uses tack. Hope you guys are enjoying this because I sure am, and with another scratch, I bring him down to the yellow. And as we know, green is lower than yellow. Or yellow is lower than green. Oh, Squirtle. You got no match for this scratch! Oh, yeah. And a level up to level six. Good job, Zuko. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. I got 80 bucks for winning, so I robbed him immediately afterwards. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Zaltrax, Gramps, smell you later. You'll suffer for this. All right. Well, guys, let's take a step outside because we just won our first Pokemon battle. Well, me, you guys didn't really do much. Hopefully, maybe you cheered me on. That would have been awesome. But I'm so excited to be playing through this game. This is my most nostalgic Pokemon game. It was the first Pokemon game I ever had. My dad got it for me, and I'm just going to be so excited. Not as excited for the Nuzlocke because I'm, I don't want any of my Pokemon to die. I grow very strong attachments to these Pokemon. And uh, gosh, I'm so excited for Sun and Moon. And I know you might be sad because you want me to venture off into the Pokemon world and be the very best. And you're probably wondering why this fat guy keeps walking in front of me. And maybe we'll find out in a later video. Cheers!